Here's what I was looking for, our very first upgrade your projectiles bounce one more time, which is a legendary one which actually seems to have no effect on this character because the arrow just goes out and back. But that's probably okay because the second one is getting a lot more damage anyway, so I think we're going to one shot them now so the thing doesn't have to come back. have no idea what the bouncing projectiles are going to do if anything ever, but this will be fine because here's another legendary that uh, we might as well take, raise the range of the area effect and pick up range. So at first the upgrades were two legendaries and one purple. and. Uh, there seems to be lots of damage from this character because he shoots basically twice with every shot. Okay, we'll take a little bit of extra health then. We're already up to five health. Things are looking good. And then we got another level up. So we should probably increase our attack speed whenever we can, but for now we'll probably take damage. That put us up to 65. Uh, basically times two every time we throw this thing because we throw them there and back again and it's a nice wide area of effect too. This is kind of a confusing build to try and chart out but this will be fine. Okay there's a few good ones here. Shoot an orbiting projectile regularly or you also shoot behind you. I think I'm going to take behind you because now we're firing two of these things so that's not going to hurt one little bit. We're basically firing four projectiles already and they all do lots of damage. Then I'm actually going to reduce the cooldowns of dashes and abilities by 20% because that's 20%. Eventually the dashes are very important and whatever other uh, abilities we have are going to be needed. Well, I don't really love any of these, so I might just do that one more time. So now we're at a 72% time for all the dashes and stuff. I also have a really, really big cup of very hot coffee sitting right in front of me. And I'm very nervous about that today and I don't know why. I do this all the time without issue. Uh, I'm going to increase the attack speed a little bit. So it's 1.4 per second times 2, I guess uh times two again so because of the backwards projectiles yeah we still need more damage i don't know if we're gonna come from crits on this build i don't know how to build one of these since this one is legendary i might as well take it i don't know if that includes my shurikens or not i don't know if they're getting bigger but they seem to have a pretty big area anyway okay i just realized permanently augments your damage by 30 percent is good uh, we lose 20 percent attack speed but my projectiles are faster the sooner they come back to me i think the sooner they fire again nope they just wait but they do go quicker now so I don't have to be as uh, lazy waiting for them. Crits do 150% more damage. You know, crits are basically doing double what they just were. And that's not going to hurt anything. We need to increase our critical chance at some point. But for now, enjoy the shurikens. Everyone enjoy them. Okay, I'm just going to take 100% more crit damage for now. Uh, later, once we start to stack crit chance, that'll come in handy. You can just never have too much damage. That's a fact. Wow, we're getting this like a thousand times over. But I'm not going to take it again because I don't know if we're going to use any of that or not. But we're going to gain a lot more attack speed. And that's actually going to make a pretty big difference. That was almost a 50% increase. So here's one of these guys. If we can hit him with a crit, that would really hurt him, but I don't think we're going to get a crit because the chance is so low. Uh, I'm going to gain three rerolls for upgrade choices. There was another bouncing thing, but let's face it, bouncing projectiles don't matter here because my projectiles can't bounce. They go straight out and straight back, 150% more crit damage. Eventually, we're going to need to start actually dealing crits, but it's at 600% already. And I also really need to stop walking into people. Clearly, I just haven't had enough caffeine. That's the problem. So we're going to gain much more attack speed. The 10% crit chance would be good here, but that was also a huge increase to attack speed but i really do need to increase crit chance otherwise all those crit multipliers are basically wasted upgrades if that would never waste an upgrade that's not possible okay here we go increase your crit chance five percent so at least it's one in ten instead of one in twenty so that's a big increase if we can do double it even one more time i'd be pretty reasonably happy so we'll just take another five percent crit chance there so at 15 percent crit chance uh, i really do need to <laughs> need to stop walking into people so i guess the advantage of this build now that i think about it is that they basically always pierce like the thing goes there and back again and pierces through everyone the downside is that it's limited range and they can't bounce increase crit chance five percent so one in five shots or one in five hits i guess is a crit which is getting better yeah we killed that guy pretty quickly probably augments your damage 20 percent projectiles are 50 percent slower well they're still pretty quick and i just need that extra damage oh you can even fire them out ahead of time if they don't come back in time so yeah that's perfectly fine by me there's always shurikens going out there somewhere now that's kind of fun your crits do 150 percent more damage if they're doing 600 or 750 percent crits otherwise known as really big damage and i think we just picked up a heart so i got some of my precious health back see this one would normally be really good but it's my character basically has this by default so i'm going to take another two maximum health really at this point out of all those choices this one's kind of makes sense because we're getting hit a lot today that's entirely my fault i just want to be lazier still about dodging enemies and we have someone with a health bar it's a tomato whose health we just halved by hitting him once deal area damage each time you dash gain one dash i mostly just want that for the dash the damage is nice too but the more i can dash the longer i'll live uh i'm gonna re-roll these because i want at least a blue okay i'll take a gold gain much more damage we went from 100 to 140 
48. We do 50% damage increase just on that. And that also means the crits also got a 50% damage increase overall. So they should definitely be hitting for over a thousand. I think there was 1100 if I saw that. So yeah, 1112. We also need faster fire rate. Like we're okay, but we do need to work a little bit to not get hit. See, this would be great on, under another build. Uh, I don't really want to reroll twice. Um, 100% more. Yeah, that's fine. So 850% crits now. We just need to do more of them. It wouldn't also hurt to fire more of these things out there. Hulk hands here is pretty quick, so I'm going to have to run away from him very uh, bravely. But as soon as I get a crit, yeah, he's dead. Emit an aura that slows enemies near you by 50%. That's a good one. Whoops, that way they won't get right in my face for super long and give me a chance to shuriken them in the face. Okay, increase your chance of getting crits by 10%. So now 1 in 3 is a crit. So that's a big increase of damage and you can already see the effect of that. Between slowing them down and doing more crits, they're going to have a lot more trouble getting close to me. This character is definitely better for dealing with big mobs like this kind of all at once because he'll just always pierce all the way through all of them. It's less good about taking care of dispersed people that are all around the outside of the perimeter but as soon as they're in a big group yeah this is kind of the character you want for that. Uh we could take five percent crit chance let's re-roll hoping for yeah there we go. So they're doing about 1700 damage now which seems rather adequate for this far into the game. So now I just need to increase the crit chance again. I've been saying that for a while, but we've been slowly working on it. We're killing many things. It would be cool to fire three shurikens at once. Can I have one of those rewards, please? Increase your cranes of dealing crits by 10%. So now we're at a 40% crit chance. So that means we're doing a lot of them. The majority of our shots aren't crits, but... When you fire four shurikens at once, well, four shots at once, basically, you're always doing a crit. It would be nice to do uh, throw three of these at once, though, too, because you would just be piercing through so many enemies all at once. Like, even having two of these is pretty overpowered because we can hit, in theory, unlimited enemies all at once because the piercing doesn't stop. Uh, crits deal 100% more damage, so it's now almost 2,000 damage already. And we are one-shotting the greenies right now, which is good. That's kind of a place I always want to be. That's kind of the benchmark. If you can one-shot them, you'll keep them fairly cleaned out. Let's try and get them into a bit of a big cluster. That way, you can really take advantage advantage of my efficient shurikens. Yeah, that's good enough for me. See, you just start, start taking huge bites. That's why I'm more shurikens. We'd be hitting so many enemies at once. I don't really love any of these, so let's just take another 20% on the cooldowns, which is includes dashes. So the dashes are now 43% faster than they used to be. Uh, we are going to have to deal with him. So far, the shurikens are refusing to hit, but there we go. We're doing big damage. Yeah, as long as we're hitting crits on the big one, we're going to be okay. And uh, I'm just going to tank through this. You're dead. And our reward for that, something legendary. Wow, I wasn't kidding. Three legendaries. Shoot four times faster, but deal three times less damage is kind of interesting. Oh, you know what? We, we upgraded our, our explosion size so much. Deal 25% damage each time you project as inflict a critical. We're doing quite a few crits, but also we increase the size of our, our effects so big that we're actually going to have really big explosions right away. And a 25% damage on those crits. Those are actually going to be really powerful explosions, and that's going to help because this uh, character has a little bit of trouble with cleaning up big areas. Things close to me, fine, but a little bit further out, explosions will take care of the rest. At least that's my theory. And so far, it's working because before I could not hold still like this. Next level up, increase the range of your area of effect and pick up range by 40% bigger explosions. We're going to get like 10,000% explosions by the end of this. And so far, that's working pretty good because we didn't even uh, do anything to the blanket. I guess always target deputies, gradually increase your damage and attack speed if a dies or is out of screen. And that way, when there's an idiot on screen, we'll just get stronger and stronger until one of us dies. Another level up and we can gain a lot more damage. So 226 base damage and big crits. Definitely over 2000 and that's only going to go up because it, it would only take a few proper upgrades to get tons of damage out of that and he's already dead. We're doing just about well 3500 damage on the crits right now and if our health goes up that's only going to get bigger. Maybe we'll just do a crazy health build because all that damage is making colossal explosions too that are doing big damage so that's kind of interesting. So if I can turn my crit chance up just a little more we'll get more explosions and things will just get really really easy. These are all fun options. I don't know which one I want. Maybe more attack speed because that's probably the lowest one so we can probably gain the most out of that. The more we attack, whoops, the more crits we do, the more uh, explosions we do, the more everything dies. Here comes a mole. Hope the mole likes explosions. He's dead. I like this one for this build. Your projectiles slow down any enemies by 70% when they hit them. Our projectiles will basically hit everything twice, so they'll get slowed down and then probably murdered after that. Alright, for this I'm going to increase my critical chance by 5%, which gives us almost 1 in 2 crit. There's basically always a crit going out somewhere because we're firing 2 at once, but we still need more of that. Next level up, we could make things even bigger. I want a lot more attack speed, so we're going to go from 2.1 to 2.6 per second, which is a huge increase. And that by itself, again, is just going to mean a lot more damage overall between crits, explosions, and regular attacks. The shurikens are going up pretty quick now. 
know, so we're always attacking something. I like how big our pickup range is too. I didn't realize how far we're picking things up from, but that's definitely making it easier for me. I don't need to go nearly as far to heal myself. I don't necessarily love any of these. 5% crits might be good. An extra maximum health would actually bring my damage up by another 10%. It means I can't move as fast, but that extra damage means bigger, better explosions too. The explosions are going to have to kind of carry me with this character. And here comes the sheriff. But if we, wow, that's doing tons to him. If we stand somewhere right here, I don't know if he can even hurt us. We'll stand right in close to him and and yep, he's dead. Let's shoot an orbiting projectile regularly. That is a 4% cooldown. Does that work? Oh yeah, there is one circling. Okay. And that's going to cause explosions too. Uh, because if I reduce cooldown, there's going to be a lot more of those circling around. Leveled up pretty quickly. Because of that, we could take two more health, which would give us more damage again. 450 per thing. We're even slower again, but I mean, the damage is kind of funny. I feel like things are going to have a little bit of trouble getting close to us for a little while. Also, 10 health is plenty. So as long as we can restock some of that here and there, we'll survive a long time. So the explosions, now we're doing 1,000 damage. 1,000 damage explosions. I think we're still going to do better eventually. Standing still gradually increases your attack speed until you move again so i can just stand still if i want to until a projectile comes in we could rapid fire and if we kill everything far enough out we'll turn into like a mega tornado with our shuriken circling us but it's also getting to that point where i'm getting hit by things i can't see so let's grab some of the upgrades and hopefully get some more damage increase your crit chance by 10 percent why yes so now we're at 55%, so the majority of our shots are crits, which means explosions for over a thousand damage. This is fun, it's just like a buzzsaw, I just want to walk around mowing through things. I feel like if I have to move, I should be rewarded for it with a level up. Okay, let's try this. Permanently raises your attack speed by 30%, half of your shots are less precise. I don't need precision, I have explosions. And a whirling tornado of doom. So that's gonna work out okay. We're gonna do so much damage now. Uh, I'm gonna gain more damage from... 450 to 500. Wow, that's adding a lot of damage. I should just take those for a little while. Uh, and that added basically I 500 to the crits or something. I just saw hit for 4700, I think. Hmm, this is gonna be fun. Bounty's only 60,000. We're already doing this kind of damage. And the buzzsaw really helps keep us alive. Like when I need to move, normally that's very dangerous, but everything dies anywhere near me. And because of the respawn rate of them, there's just a lot of them out there. The enemies like, hey, look, there's a boss. And he's dead. Hopefully he has something good for us. I'm going to get deal area damage before you dash just because I want to gain one dash. I'm going to start to need that extra movement speed. I might just do so much damage and nothing can get close to me, but that thing did. And I didn't even see that. But if they get through the perimeter of my whirly thing, then yeah, it could be trouble. So let's gain a lot more damage from 499 to 562. So the crits are, I think, creeping up on 6,000 damage if I see a full damage one somewhere, 5,300, somewhere there. I don't know. There's just a lot of damage going out. Look at him go. And keep in mind that for anyone to get to me, They've got to walk through two of those because the shuriken's going to go there and back again. So unless they have 10,000 or more health, they're going to have trouble touching me. There's another boss. We should focus on him and he explodes in pretty much an instant. But let's see what he's got for us. Shoot four times faster, deal three times less damage. I don't know if that's going to be good. The damage loss. We need that high-end damage for explosions and stuff. i really on the fence about that one, but I think I'm just going to deal 50% more damage when I'm below half health. That one might have been worth it, but I really like these big numbers on the screen especially. Plus, we got to level up. Increase your chance of crits by 10%. So we're now up to 65%. So definitely the majority are crits, which means explosions and really big explosions at that. And the explosive damage is 1300. So with all the overlap, things will just take you a ton of damage just from explosives. The game is going to love that in about 10 minutes. Oh, plus I slow enemies that come nearby. That's really big too. Like normally it's just kind of around my idiot, but now it's like halfway across the screen. So it's another accidentally successful build. I had no idea what I was doing when I started this. And I still don't really. But we've got something that seems to be doing a lot of damage and upgrading itself rapidly. 100% more crit damage. So up to 1,050% crits, which means that thing down there is absolutely melted. I guess I'll take two shields, rotate around me and block projectiles. Those are pretty big too now, actually. Mm, something hit me there. I didn't see what it was. But the screen is getting a little busy, really. Uh, crits are up to about 6,000, so 1,500 for the explosions, being that they're 25%. Okay, I'm going to take a little walk now to uh, get some of these little uh, wheelies getting going to <laughs> mow them down mercilessly. They are starting to chew through some of them, though. Like, I do start to run out of them, but... We did get basically a full level up from that. There's so many good choices. I think at this point though it's more pertinent to get uh, more damage. So maybe we'll do 100% more crit damage. We could increase crit chance too. That would have been a valid option. But we're going to start to need the damage. We're doing lots of crits. We need damage. I didn't even see we killed this thing. What was this? Gain three rerolls for object choices. Yeah, since I don't love any of those object choices anyway, we'll just work on getting some better ones at those. Crits are up to 6,500. So explosions are even bigger than they were before. Which seems to be doing a job. 
I think they're at about, yeah, 1,615 just from the uh, giant explosions that are everywhere. Leveling up is going to get harder and harder though, so I'm going to have to sit here for longer and longer to actually get the materials on the ground that I need. Oh, there's another boss. I guess I might as well take a walk now and hopefully he's got something good for us. Like, I don't really love any of these. We could, enemies around you are faster but take 50% more damage. That's interesting. I'm going to take that. That might be a bad choice, but I mean, I don't think, uh, they're going to have trouble getting to us anyway because we slow them down. Like, even when they get into range. So, let's take a lot more damage from 500, whatever, to 600. Pretty sure I just saw one for 9,000. Yeah, we're, we're doing hits for over 10,000 now. <laughs> because the enemies are taking double damage. That was a good pickup. If the enemies are taking 10,000 damage on crits, the explosions are worth 2,500 now or more. But yeah, we're legitimately doing 10,000 routinely. 2,700 on the explosions that hit pretty much everything on screen. So this damage is getting pretty wild pretty quickly. I think the coffee for that. I did get hit by something there. I've got lots of hearts. I'm going to drink coffee and let it go. Okay, so what did this guy give us? Nothing really. That's kind of fun. Crit it's an explosion during four time damage upon taking damage. When your projectiles deal critical damage, they pierce. That's interesting, but like I already pierce everything just on the nature of the build. I guess dashing through enemies deals damage to them, reduces the cooldown of dash by 30%. So that's a big one. Uh, these are not super fun. If I take one maximum health though, my damage goes up. Not a ton. I do get more health, but I should focus on damage over health at this point. But I'm seeing a lot of hits for, well, the explosions now are almost 3000 damage. And there's a lot of those out there. Bounty's going up quick. We're up to 160,000. I think it's actually better that I uh, had the enemies move twice as quick because they just spawn into me that much quicker and die that much quicker. That means upgrades quicker and that means we get damage quicker. We just got to clear out some space here and there. There's a mole on screen. We'll take him out right away because uh, he'll be good for some experience. There we go. I guess we'll just slow all projectiles around us. That will maybe help me see them. I don't really know. We'll clear a little bit of space there. We'll clear a little bit of space here. Okay, we're going to take a lot more damage again. That puts us up to 721 base damage. I'm doing 13,000 crits. 3,100 on the explosives. I'm not really sure what the blue aura is. I guess that was something we just picked up. Oh, that's the slowing projectiles aura. It just happens to take up all the viewing room. It's actually kind of hard to see past that. It's helpful, I guess, but I, I would rather just be able to see. I can dodge easier if I can see things. We almost got another half a level up, though. This, uh, yeah, this uh, build is a real buzzsaw. Starting to feel again slow down just a little bit but the bounty already jumped up to 195,000. Oh there's a I didn't see him up there. I was wondering why I wasn't aiming at anything in particular. I rerolled those into hopefully something better. I guess attract all the collectibles around you when you eliminate a, a, a deputy because there's lots of those around and um yeah it would be nice just if I didn't have to manually go collect all this crap. Okay let's go for probably this one I guess. Your crits do 100% more damage. I think base damage is better but either way we're getting a damage increase. We're doing 3400 so multiply that by 4 and there you have our big crits. It's hard. We're doing so much explosive damage that those damage readouts are covering everything else. I kind of like that deputy pickup thing because as soon as one shows up, we're going to focus him, we're going to kill him, and then we absorb all this stuff automatically. So I might not even have to walk anymore. And that thing managed to get close enough to me. Oh, they're starting to get close. Oh, that's because there was a deputy on board. I guess we'll fire projectiles all around us upon taking damage and then we absorb, I think, all of the coins around. So there's a level up. So let's gain a lot more damage to 770 base damage which puts our damage up again which means we're into ridiculous territory so we're doing 3600 on the explosion so that means we're doing 14,400 roughly on our big hits and i find that level of damage should be adequate 242 thousand dollar bounty that jumped up like 40,000 in two minutes i mean i think i could understand why but i just didn't realize it was going up that quick what i really want is enough there it is another deputy to show up it's going to take a sec to kill him sort of not really he's dead but now we get all the upgrades absorbed into us i guess we'll just attract our collectibles from further away and we didn't even level up from all those yeah leveling up is going to be super hard now but we'll do it we can see that bar moving up even now and then once we kill a deputy we'll get all this stuff on the perimeter oh for now i think i'll just take a lot more damage we're up to 835 base damage <laughs> that's so stupid so we're doing i think 16,000 uh on our crits and for the explosions we're doing I'm trying to see one cleanly. Uh, 4,000? Is that? Yeah, that sounds about right. 25% of 16,000. So we're doing massive explosions for 4,000 damage per hit. And those overlap ridiculously because they're like all crits. Yeah, I was going to say, I think there's a deputy because things are starting to get to me suddenly. When you say still periodically fire projectiles around you, might as well. Because that's only going to be more crits and... Uh... <laughs> oh, interesting. Yeah, I guess because our cooldown is so small too. We're just like a ring of death. Nothing can get to us. And I'm okay with this. We're up to $295,000 bounty. Okay, we got another uh, idiot on the board. Hopefully he dies quickly. That way we don't take too much damage trying to kill him. 
Ooh, they're definitely getting tough. Yikes. Uh-oh. This is kind of interesting. Each time you dash, take one damage, but permanently gain 10 default damage. Why not? At this point, we might as well just absorb whatever damage we can. Ooh, the game's not loving this. But we're almost leveled up again, so if we do that, we'll gain damage and take a hit. We do it again, we'll gain damage and take a hit. <laughs> so we can just do this a bunch if we want. Uh, do we want to increase the area of our explosions? We don't really need to. Let's just increase our crit chance a little bit more. Because then we're going to dash again. And we're up to 999 base damage. Uh, so our crits are going to be doing something stupid. I think I'm seeing 18,000 out there. Yeah, 4,600 for the uh, for the explosive damage and multiply that by 4. And I think we can still dash some more. Yep, there we go. 1,065 <laughs> base damage. I don't know how many times we dashed so far. And uh, while well, our damage is going up, it's up to 11, 1,200. Now I think there's a deputy on screen, but we're doing 20,000 for crit because there's 5,000 for explosions. Uh, I guess create an explosion dealing 4 times your damage upon taking damage. That should help it when I get hit just to clear things out a little bit, I guess. I, I don't know. Alright, well let's dash and dash again. So there's 1130 base damage. So yeah, we're doing 21,000 crits. I'm really surprised the game is letting this happen. I thought it'd be so leggy by now it wouldn't work with all these explosions. We probably have some more dashes in us too for more damage. Okay, yeah, we're up to 1,200 base damage now, which seems excessive, but that means about 22,000 on the crits, 55, 5,600 on the explosions that are everywhere. And oh yeah, there's a deputy over there. Was he being, did we kill him? Oh no, we just pushed him off the screen a little bit. But our damage is going to go up as so long as he's alive for up to 1500 base damage. Uh, which means our crits are getting 25,000. Ooh, this is also going to keep us alive. Emit an aura that damages enemies nearby you periodically. There's a cooldown, but our damage is so high that that's going to, like, that's really going to help keep us alive. Uh, because we also have, like, a 40% extra, like, cooldown reduction. So, yeah, things are going to be really struggle to get to us now. And, uh, let's take more damage, I guess. 1,228, and if we do that, we might get more at this point. No, I think we're maxed out there. So 1,228 damage. So crits are 23,000 currently, uh, about 6,000 for the explosives. Our bounty has ridiculously jumped up to almost 400,000 now, so we've gone way further than ever before. Oh, and there's an idiot on screen. So the longer he's here for, the more damage we do. There's leg. Uh, 1,500 base damage, so we're doing... I can't even... Uh, I don't know what's happening anymore. Is Did he die? Are we dying? Well, our damage up to... I saw 1,800. There was 8,300 on the explosion, so we're doing 32,000 crits. 32,000 crits and 8,000 per explosion. That's so stupid. I don't I don't really know what to do with any... I guess gain 10% attack speed. Uh, I'm going to take damage too often, though, so let's just... When your projectiles deal critical damage, they pierce. They're always doing both, really. And the bounty jumped up to 410,000 already. That thing is just skyrocketing now with the rate we're killing things. And there's another idiot on screen, a deputy, so we'll focus on them for a sec. They'll get close they'll die extra hard when they're close oh did they die or do we push them off screen i don't know what happened oh we just pushed them off screen a little bit so the counter reset which is a shame but we're up to 1500 base damage for a sec we're clearly running out of good options here i guess we'll heal each time we gain a level they're, they're all kind of redundant now but we'll keep taking them so the tide's starting to turn in the favor of the enemies just a little bit uh, also, my computer might light on fire, so we'll see what happens first. What I really need at this point is a legendary damage upgrade. That would help put me ahead again. Things keep touching me and they keep getting pushed back because of it, which is kind of funny. As soon as something does get close enough to me, the explosion triggers, and then they all get pushed that far back and I have to start the process over again, walking through all my damage to get to me. Okay, there is a deputy somewhere on screen. I don't know where they are, but... Oh, they're in the lower right. They're making my damage and attack speed go way up again. There's 1843 which is probably our max and they're dead i guess your projectiles bounce two more times none of those can really i think be of any service to me now unless i can get the triple shot one i don't know if that would actually help us at this point or not and i think we're starting to use hearts faster than we're generating them so we're on the down slope now but four hundred forty thousand dollar bounty and there's an idiot on screen so the damage is going up but we're also about to level up for the first time in like an hour uh, as soon as the game stops lagging, there we are. Oh, it's an attack speed upgrade. I was hoping for legendary damage. Do we want to try this? Is it going to make a difference? We're going to go from 6.8 to 8.05. That's actually a really big hit. <laughs> That's like a 33% speed increase. So that was the right choice to make. Uh, damage got even stupider again somehow because of that. We're also getting like 6 frames per second. So it's going to take a while to get to where we're going. We're up to $450,000 bounty. We're like one 
30th of the way to the next level so upgrades are going to be super slow but there's another big damage readout 5600 on the explosions no uh, there was 8300 on the explosion so that's conceivably 32,000 damage also whenever you take two damage in a row heal that's also going to help keep me alive in a big way i killed another idiot and nothing to go whenever you get a dash gain 100 crit chance why not I think there was a deputy on screen for a second i think we might keep pushing him off because the attack and stuff keeps going up and then resets things are slowing down pretty badly at this point in many ways oh look at that there was a deputy would have been nice to get a legendary upgrade but i'll take permanently gain 10 percent attack speed every 120 seconds which isn't going to happen there's no way we can live that long without getting hit okay our damage is stacking up again because there's an idiot on screen but we're doing 800 1843 base damage we're up to 32,000 crits again uh even over that now because we're at 8600 for explosive damage so just multiply that by four and you get our big boy number oh i think there's actually a few deputies on screen now that i look i haven't noticed because it's all just kind of a blur to me hey look at that our health is getting low again fun uh when we kill a deputy we're supposed to take these treasure chests i don't know why we didn't suck that one up i don't really know what this is but i'm gonna try it you reload all your dash at once dashing uses all slots in succession so i guess we just kind of like rapid fire it if i'm understanding that Oh yeah, you sure do. Okay, I'm gonna stand on some of these hearts for a sec and see if we can survive for a sec. Health is dropping pretty quickly at this point. Uh, the enemies are surviving longer than they should. We're doing plenty of damage, but uh, <laughs> you know, it's a struggle. Okay, gonna dash around a little bit to try and pick up some of these much needed hearts because we are very close to dead. There's a deputy that's almost dead. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, I see how that works. You dash all at once, you put one back. Oh, that's actually really powerful. I gotta use that more. Uh, for now, I'm just gonna hold still, try and build up my attack speed now that I got a bit of health. One of the deputies is like 99% dead, so I'm gonna try and finish him off. Die, idiot. Okay, uh, okay, where am I? Where is he? Okay, got him. Can we focus on him? Yeah, yeah, there we go, kill him. He has so much health, he's so hard to kill. I like. I feel like he's gonna despawn on me. Can you die now, please? I have three health left. There we go. Uh, all basically for nothing, but we can have some lightning spawn in now and we died <laughs> okay but that was fun up to 30,000 per arrow total bounty almost 500,000